in this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can actually add multiple, multiple language subtitles with just CapCut in 10 minutes. So this was an idea that I've had for the few months about how we can actually effectively add subtitles like without spending tons of time. Like because we obviously have multiple AI platforms going on, but if you don't know how to implement those kind of like strategy from AIs, then even though you already know how you can actually create short form videos and long form videos, it's going to take really, really, really a while. So that's why I brought this topic for you. So, okay, let's get started. What you're going to do is you're going to prepare your raw video first with CapCut. All you need to do is you're going to just record your just video itself through CapCut um, application here with your phone. And then once you have it, you're going to just uh, upload this file to your cloud just to make sure that we have our videos safely. So that's why it's important to upload your videos to cloud, okay? So once you have this, uh, just only this one, raw videos itself, because you haven't generated any subtitles yet, you cannot see these kind of files going on. So what you're gonna do is, if you have this one, you're gonna trim, edit all of the videos like very shortly, less than one minute so that uh, you can catch your audience easily. And then what you're going to do is go to text. And then there is a feature for auto captions itself. So if you use English in your video itself, you're going to click just English itself. Okay. Here, you're going to just click create. And then you don't have to click this one. Okay. I'm just going to click on it. And then you're going to just wait for a while, just probably 30 seconds or one minute. And then you can see exactly this caption is auto-generated, but it's just in English, right? We want to add multiple, multiple language subtitles in your video. So what you're going to do is, first of all, actually, you need to check out the English itself is good to understand because sometimes auto-generation have not very great result itself, like wrong caption like wrong words they can generate so you need to thoroughly check out those captions first the auto captions first if that makes sense or not you're gonna just simply click here and then you're gonna click caption and then you're gonna actually see this type of thing going on and then you can click on it and then replace it yeah you can simply do that or you can just simply click here and then go to basic and then you can actually check out here once again and then also you can design your font or a background effect yeah something like that okay so right now you have a clear very polished caption right now in english or even in your language and then you want to translate that one right then what you're going to do is if you haven't prepared your script before you're going to just simply download this one by exporting the caption itself. Just go to export here, and then you're gonna see here video exporting, audio or caption exporting, yeah, something like that. I'm not gonna click here. What you're gonna do is just click caption exporting, okay? Then you're gonna get this kind of like caption file, okay? What you're gonna do is you're gonna copy all of the uh, English caption itself, and then you're gonna go to Deeple. I love Deeple <laughs> because it generates like almost 70% or 80% accuracy. All you need to do just is you're going to just simply uh, copy and paste here in English. And then you're going to simply choose your second language or third language or whatever. And then you're going to get this uh, view. Okay. What you're going to do is you're going to see here and here, right? And then you're going to simply adjust your translation here once again so that it makes sense all of the copywriting at the same time. Right now, it's not fully optimized in English as well, actually. And the caption itself is not accurate enough right now, okay? So I'm just showing this kind of example, okay? 
all you need to do is just copy this um, translation after you finish all of the localization and translation and then you're gonna go to auto caption here and then there is a bilingual caption and then you can actually choose any language here for now i'm gonna click korea and then the video language itself is in english so i'm gonna click generate and then once you wait for a while, you're going to get two types caption here once again. You can actually generate more languages here. Just go to simply auto caption. I, I generated Korean first. So right now I'm going to generate Japanese. So I have a English and Japanese right now. But you know what? There is a, actually a selection here once again, clear current caption. So when you choose a clear current caption, that means you cannot get the third languages or fourth languages. Okay. So what you're going to do is I'm not going to click clear current caption and then I'm going to add Korean once again since I deleted it. Right. And actually there is a template you can choose from. For example, uh, I'm going to go for something like this template. I I'm actually subscribing this uh, CapCut. I pay the monthly bit right now. So that's why I can use Pro version. Okay. Then all you can see is English and Japanese and Korean, right? But as you can see here, there is a two English. So all you need to do is you need to just simply delete here no delete captions and also delete here once again then you can actually have just three types of yeah captions once again but if you have like bunch of captions going on in your captions itself you don't have to delete individually okay right now you have three languages in a row in your video and then you have this kind of view okay also you have a translation word so actually this will be in your caption so the timeline itself is just the same so what you're gonna do is just you're gonna copy here just one sentence you're gonna copy here once again and then go to CapCut and then you're gonna just add the captions manually once again because the auto generation translation itself is not really accurate like it's 30 percent or 40 percent accuracy so that's why my team and i usually generate the english and japanese korean version from the application because in web we cannot have auto translation itself so that's why you need to do something like yeah one more uh, but it really saves our time and effort so that's why I, we are doing right now so first of all generating english korean japanese just to have the timeline properly these kind of like blocks okay and then you're gonna upload this one to cloud on CapCut, and then you're gonna have this view and what you're gonna do is simply just copy this finalized translation here just one one line you're going to copy the one line and then add here, 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 here. Yeah, then that's it. Okay. So I hope it was really helpful for you because, you know, like I've been chasing a lot of like videos on like how I can minimize my like editing process and then adding translations like that. Like many video platforms offer translation, but it's not really accurate. So that's why we found the kind of like foundations how we can actually set up the tr translation is really clearly and also cut down the time spent itself if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe my channel and then turn on the notification so you don't have to miss anything and like this video and then if you want me to create another video for you just simply write down what you want to hear from me like anything is possible like i I do global marketing, including SEO, social media, and advertising. Then see you later.